Uh, thank you very much. So, uh, first of all, thank you for inviting the, the, also the groups and the group leaders to, uh, to participate uh, to this uh, uh, in, in important meeting today in the European Parliament. And, uh, yeah, oh, we have uh, seen today uh, the representatives also, and here the representatives of the EU institutions, the political groups and the national governments who have uh, declared unanimously uh, their engagement in ending uh, Roma segregation, persecution and discrimination. And uh, we, have, uh, uh, we, we know that we have a European framework of national strategies for Roma integration and inclusion. We have the yearly plans by national governments that are normally monitored by uh, the Commission with reports uh, on this implementation to the European Parliament and other institutions. We have also uh, funds uh, to implement uh, the, uh, this uh, European uh, framework, which is always, as you know, an incentive for member states uh, to achieve uh, results. And we have also uh, the European Commission, uh, who has issued uh, guidelines for member states so uh, to ensure that these national strategies are concentrated on the, on the main uh, topics, on the important uh, topics, uh, education, housing, health and employment. Uh, but that's the theory. Uh, that's the theory uh, because, uh, unfortunately, all these declarations and all these uh, plans in paper, uh, in fact, uh, don't have changed many things on the ground. That is uh, the reality of uh, today. Uh, when we look on what is happening for the moment in the European Union and in our member states, uh, the reality is, I should say, extremely different. Uh, of uh, these, uh, that uh, fantastic uh, European framework that we have and that uh, fantastic monitoring system uh, that we uh, should apply on, 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 on these uh, national uh, uh, plans. And may, moreover, what we see in reality is that in the reality exactly the opposite is happening from what is being said and has been written. That is reality today, political reality. Uh, and I, maybe I can give you some examples, but you know them better than I do. Uh, uh, we can talk about uh, Hungary, who have uh, approved a, a, a plan uh, uh, that is mainly, in fact, uh, uh, in a disproportional way, aff affect Roma people about uh, uh, social allowances to work on construction sites and uh, clean parks, maintain forests and parks for, for, for small uh, for a small uh, salary, if, it, if you can even talk about a, a salary, affecting especially Roma uh, people in a disproportionate way. Uh, we got in, in the Czech Republic, uh, uh, where the Czech Senate has affirmed that the, uh, the Republic uh, has not even to participate in the European strategy on Roma. They find that it can be an exception uh, on, uh, uh, in the 27 uh, member states of the European Union. Uh, there is in Bulgaria where we got uh, a number of uh, violent acts against Roma people, uh, even leading to the fact that the authorities in Bulgaria have called for an end of the, uh, of the language of hatred uh, in, in Bulgaria. And then uh, we have uh, evictions of Roma people uh, still uh, taking place in a number of countries in Italy, uh, Rome, uh, in France, especially in Paris, uh, in Romania. Uh, which have led NGOs to urgently call on the authorities and the European Commission uh, to, uh, to act. Uh, so, um, I think that uh, if you look to our uh, beautiful framework that we have and the uh, national uh, uh, plans we are asking uh, from the Member States, and you compare it with the facts and, uh, on, 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 on the ground, and you see a complete contradiction. Uh, between uh, both of them. And it's not because you can say, oh, I have a national uh, uh, plan uh, that is uh, translating the European framework in, in, into uh, local action uh, that you don't have to uh, fight against these events and these facts. It's not because you have your, uh, your national uh, uh, action plan that, okay, I have done my job. No, it's a daily uh, fight against 
uh, a number of uh, attitudes, a number of uh, events, and a number uh, of uh, behaviors in, in every of all member states. So the first thing what I, I, I want uh, to, to, to propose a little bit is that we, we, we not only are monitoring uh, the implementation of our European framework uh, in the nation states, but we do also the opposite. That is, what is the actual state of play of Roma discrimination in every member state? Uh, and, and that's the first thing uh, to do. And then the second thing to do is, I think, uh, also uh, to monitor the implementation of the national plans. I can tell you that uh, we have uh, put, uh, we have tabled uh, uh, an, an, an oral question uh, to uh, the plenary on this. There's the contradiction between uh, the uh, theoretical, beautiful European framework and uh, 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 national plans and the behavior on the ground the, uh, and, and, and what uh, uh, we are doing about that and it shall be discussed in the session of November so that's next week in Strasbourg uh, next week in Strasbourg uh, it has been uh, this oral question has been put uh, up uh, on the uh, agenda um, and uh, in the oral question uh, uh, Parliament uh, is uh, calling member states Commission and the Council uh, to take uh, their responsibilities and uh, to, to, to make uh, uh, things happening so that the declarations made today and the plans adopted in, in paper uh, become also uh, a, a, reali a reality. Uh, more fundamentally, we have uh, to make sure, I think, that uh, violation of fundamental rights of uh, EU citizens, what is uh, still a, a, a a basic problem, so as, for example, the expulsions of Roma from a number of countries, and especially from France, uh, do not uh, take place anymore uh, in the European Union and the Member States. And maybe to, to, repeat, to come back a little bit on the French case, um, you know that uh, you have seen, uh, as I have seen, that the Commission had made strong declarations against these evictions, but these declarations have not been followed in reality by the corresponding facts. So uh, France has not been brought by the Commission uh, to the European uh, Court of Justice for violating the EU Free uh, uh, Movement Directive or the Racism uh, Directive. And uh, as you know, France has only reviewed partially its lobe to provide for some uh, uh, guarantees on procedure uh, in the expulsion process, but not ended, uh, in fact, uh, these processes. So um, I think that uh, uh, we have to uh, continue to put pressure uh, on the European institutions and especially on the European Commission uh, with the guardian uh, of the treaties. Uh, only she is the guardian of uh, the treaties uh, to do what is uh, necessary. And uh, I think it's also necessary that we invite again Mrs. Reding uh, to, uh, uh, to accompany, uh, accompany her declarations with the corresponding actions also uh, when she said that she's ready to defend citizens' rights, uh, and notably uh, rights of uh, minorities. Um, I, I think that uh, every uh, European institution can play its role, but mainly it's uh, to the Commission uh, to, uh, to act uh, when a member state uh, has a, a beautiful national plan uh, translating the European framework, but is in fact continuing uh, to, uh, to, to have a number of practices who are going against uh, the, uh, the whole uh, exercise. And uh, from our side, I think that uh, the role of the uh, European uh, Parliament uh, is to, to, to better uh, monitor uh, uh, all things, the EU framework, the national uh, plans who are implementing this EU framework, and certainly the, 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 the concrete events on the, on the, on the ground uh, in, in the near future. Thank you.